I've been asked to tell you why I'm a Red Cross volunteer. All my life I've heard I should do the right thing. When you're a preacher's kid, that happens a lot. But I'm a Red Cross volunteer because doing the right thing means being with the Red Cross, and it means I get to experience the joy of helping others, the joy of connecting a son or a daughter to their serviceman father or mother, the joy of making sure that they have food or shelter after a fire, and the joy of knowing that I get to be a part of an organization that goes all around the world, from Haiti to Hempstead, from Thailand to Texas. You get to experience the joy as a Red Cross volunteer, and that's why I'm a member of the Red Cross. Every Red Cross volunteer has that Red Cross moment they talk about. My Red Cross moment was my very first house fire, where I met a recently widowed young mother with her son standing in front of their burnout house in their pajamas and bare feet. And I watched in amazement as the caseworker provided them with essentials like clothing, food, and a place to stay, and also assured her that even though she was new to the Central Texas community, her neighbors cared about her because that's what the Red Cross does. I worked with the fire department community service group and what I've seen the Red Cross do on scene after the fire's out is assist folks with things like medications, food, clothing, a place to stay, set up shelters. Sometimes with apartment complexes we could have as many as 20 or 30 people displaced and the Red Cross provides uh, invaluable assistance with helping folks in these situations. When I was 14 years old, I saw two people fall down in front of me and die of heart attacks. I was determined that that wasn't gonna to happen to me again. When I moved to Dallas, I went to the Dallas County chapter of the Red Cross and took CPR classes. After I moved to Austin to attend engineering school, during my engineering graduation, a parent fell down in front of me with a heart attack and I was able to save him with CPR until the ambulances got there. He then went to the hospital for a quadruple bypass and um, survived. I'm very, very appreciative of the American Red Cross for giving me these skills. So we all know whenever the American Red Cross is responding to a hurricane or other natural disaster, what we may not see or what isn't visible is how they are there whenever our servicemen and women are deployed. My son Kyle um, was deployed to Iraq for 18 months and many, many times he was without access to telephone or email. And um, during that time, my father had to undergo um, bypass and so we use the Red Cross as that liaison to get information to Kyle. Any mother, just even on a given day, hearing their son or daughter's voice is so powerful, and yet it's you know, amplified so many times over whenever they're in harm's way. Without the objective liaison to be there to serve as that communication, I think it would be very challenging for uh, the service member to provide the service because they do worry about and think about what is going on back at home. There are three things you probably don't know about the American Red Cross of Central Texas. We respond to a house fire on average every other day. We serve five to six military families every day right here in Central Texas, and 95% of our funding comes from private sources. That's why your support is so critical. You can support us with your time, you can support us with your talent, and you can support us with your money. And I'd like to invite you to join me and give the gift that saves the day.